literally a day in the life, uh, truthfully, just given the age bracket that it is, it, it differs slightly um, depending on what stage you are in the OHL. Because of course, you've got players that are in high school and you've got players that are at the post-secondary level. Um, which you know the expectations are of course uh, a little bit different first and foremost all practices are of course scheduled uh, you know around the high school the high school schedule um, in no way shape or form would academics ever be compromised for a practice schedule or, or anything else uh, a high school player generally uh, perhaps might do a workout before school uh, which I believe they do do in North Bay yep. uh, go to school and then they're in pra then they're uh, at practice uh, after the school day, again, team to team, it might vary. That might mean three o'clock for some teams. That might mean three thirty for others. Maybe two thirty for others. Uh, but after school, they're at practice, um, and then home to their home to their billets afterwards. Uh, you know, to do school and, and all those sorts of things. At the post secondary level, um, you know, players are are expected to be enrolled in, in some sort of uh, you know post secondary program. If they're not in class, if they're not in class uh, on campus, a lot of them take online programs. They're expected to be at the rink in the morning uh, for what would be called a breakfast a breakfast club. That might be um, you know a workout, uh, you know, something along those lines, taking care of your body. Depending on how close you are, uh, you know, to a, day, a game day, that will be adjusted slightly. Uh, and then there's of course a few hour gap in between. Uh, breakfast club and practice uh, which is where the bulk of, of community involvement happens so uh, the players that are outside of high school uh, you know shoulder the a lot of the, the load as it pertains to uh, being active in their community because they do have those few hours in between where they're not uh, you know if they're not in class uh, on a university or college campus and uh, and they would do it there and then again similarly after that whether there's you know video in and around practice time and and then they're home to their bills to, to make sure that their academics or, or everything like that is taken care of as well. Uh, every every team is must have uh, a day off a week. That means a day completely away from the rink, off the ice, no workouts, no community events, no nothing. So that's actually league mandated. Um, generally, what that that's a Monday for most teams would play two to three games in a weekend. That might mean you know Friday Sunday. That might mean Thursday Friday Sunday. Uh, you know, in certain cases that I mean Friday Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, uh, and then Mondays is generally a, a rest and reset, uh, reset day and get prepared for, for the coming week. Uh, mixed in that as well, depending on the student, um, you know, acad academically, things like tutors are all covered uh, by the teams if, if that is required. Um, you know, so players might may be seeking extra help at school for, uh, you know, whatever they may be that will be coordinated through the academic advisor, through the team. And, and that's all things that, you know, kind of periodically would take place through the week, uh, dependent on, on the player and the situation that they're in as well.